Well, let me actually show you. So if you'll let's follow go. me yeah, here. I will be able to speak to the class as well as the person online while the class will still be able to see me in full focus, which is absolutely amazing. This whole wall is uh, like a graffiti on a fence. And so the reason I chose BSL as well is that it's so, you know, it has this family feel to it and it's an accelerated process. BSL uh, has uh, this table. Uh, these are the companies where they receive the internship. This whole giant building that looks like a stadium is a residence. So this is where our students who have a company project can develop that project. Uh, I'll support the startups a bit. Discipline. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is discipline. of course. I wanted to moving fast to the world of the studies, so I chose the accelerated one for that. This was the building that BSL was all about. And believe it or not, it looks like a house because it really was a house. The school was actually built on the notion that education is key and the physical environment is not really, you know, it, it, it's, it's an added plus. So yeah. it was the transfer of knowledge. The building that we're currently in, which I'm looking forward to showing you, actually has a huge history. It was built in 1903 by a, a famous architect in the region yeah. and stayed like this for about 50 years. Yeah. It then transformed uh, for about 20 years into an architectural place, but then we took it back over as an ed educational institute, uh, very close to the large universities here, and we've been uh, the happy um, owners of this place for 12 years. So the location is unique because it's a hub, an education hub. We have EPFL, we have UNIL, we have collaborated, uh, our students club have collaborated with uh, uh, the student club of uh, UNIL, creating an event uh, on uh, investment. Uh. We are in a quiet uh, intensive uh, economic region, so we have a lot of big names, big banks, uh, including like Santander banks, for instance, or big Swiss banks, UBS. Uh, we have also big international companies, including uh, Nestle, um, including um, Philip Morris, including uh, Novartis. <laughs> Business School Lausanne is a private business school located in Lausanne, Switzerland. It was founded in 1987 and offers baccalaureate, master's and doctorate programs in business administration with focus on sustainability and entrepreneurship. Lessons in BSL are conducted in English. The school is known for its international orientation with students from all over the world. The school promotes interactive and personalized educational environment, encouraging its students to apply business theory to practical situations. BSL is always highly rated among business schools for its programs of entrepreneurship and sustainable business programs. The school is accredited by the Accreditation Council for Business Schools and Programs, which is the leading specialized association on business education accreditation. On a quarterly basis, students of uh, Business School Lausanne organize this week called Business Innovation Week and it's a series of panels, workshops, uh, we reach out to guest speakers, but it's really supposed to be the student's opportunity to have an applied experience. Come in. Yeah, of course. You don't know how to close it. So if you want to, go to have, get great results with AI, you need to know how to solve it. So my recommendation is change with people, uh, you'll find a lot of good stuff on also indie hackers. I'm the co-founder of a startup which is called Rapidly that helps people create uh, great social media content. So the experience that I shared is my knowledge about marketing and digital marketing and how it evolved throughout the years and how we already start using AI. Right now the students they sit at the same place I was in 2000. And 2000, it was the beginning of the internet, so a lot of new opportunities for marketing. And right now, it's just the emergence of AI, and it's going to also bring a lot of opportunities for them. 
Business School Lausanne is unique for several reasons. They pay great attention to sustainability in business education. It's not just a subject of a couple of courses, it's integrated into all of their programs. When teaching entrepreneurship, a lot of attention is paid to learning not only how to manage the existing companies, but creating and developing new ones. The school is known for its innovative methodologies of education and constantly updating their programs. So on this floor is basic classrooms, classrooms, meeting room, and the next one down is administration, student room, and classroom. So the, the, this here currently is uh, the uh, the explanation of what's happening this week with our students, which is the Business Innovation Week. So they've actually just created a timetable so that way people know uh, where they have to be at what time and whom they're going to be speaking with uh, mm. this week. You can see such uh, tables in a lot of places here. Uh, these are the companies uh, guys receive the internships in. It's very important. This is our typical classroom that we have, which hosts between 10 to 18 people. Uh, and it's always in a U-shaped format. And the reason is, is not only are they going to be learning from their professors, but because of the international environment, they're going to be learning from each other. So our U-shaped format is essential to make sure that they engage one-on-one -on -one with everyone. But what most people had was people sitting down behind their computers, and so you'd always have the professor like this looking at the computer because that's where the camera is. And what you're doing here is you're actually moving around. I yeah, so, so you're now in the infinity, but guess what? We've actually gone ahead and we've told the professor we want you to stand. We don't want you to be sitting anymore. So with our camera, I can actually go ahead and control it using some hand gestures oh, to where nice. now it will follow me. And as you can see on the screen behind us, you will get the feed that the camera is following me. So I will be able to speak to the class as well as the person online while the class will still be able to see me in full focus, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so this technology for us has been great because it's allowed us to go ahead and be more interactive with uh, our students online because we don't want people to be with a different experience than the classroom experience, because it's so important. It really, really is. That's another class. Uh, they're pretty similar to one another. They're well um, equipped um, technology-wise, um, and uh, you can also write on these walls. Um, and let me show it to you. Look, in an educational institution, um, here's uh, the situation. A lot of schools at first uh, get more advanced technologies, uh, but then um, many of them go to um, zero tech. Um, that is, um, they want to get rid of um, technology and return to the base. Uh, so here's the base and with a piece of chalk. So besides using all the modern technology, they are also using our um, um, old ones. So just like that, you can write um, on the wall un unpunished. And if you have um, any questions, you can always visit our website smaps.com. Modern technologies extend up to VR headsets with um, which you can, while you're still in your classroom with a VR headset, uh, visit uh, other um, classes, um, universities, uh, factories. Being in your classroom, you can visit a laboratory or you may go um, to a uh, jungle or to a beach of some kind. Um, it's uh, hard to imagine, um, although it's possible to imagine where the technology will advance next. But with all that, with all that, we must not forget that people will um, always keep reading some sorts of uh, books, so whatever they may be, electronic audiobooks, uh, people will keep uh, reading them. People will uh, still um, keep using uh, classic um, tools for studying, so we need to stay connected um, with that. When they designed uh, this um, room, they intentionally painted uh, this whole wall in a way so that you can draw on it. The point is, it's like doing graffiti on a wall, which a lot of students um, love to do. So the idea is to add uh, to the classic boards and modern tech uh, this graffiti on the wall element. Students can write, uh, draw on it, which brings uh, them some more additional life emotions. It's, it's like you're being in a class, you can add some colors uh, to your life. It's not like you're writing on a piece of paper, but you're having fun and joy. Mm -hmm. 
Excel prepares students for careers in several areas of business. Considering their focus on entrepreneurship, many graduates can start their business or work in a startup. Management, finances, banking, investment, asset management, corporate analysis, marketing and sales, branding, digital marketing, consulting, role in sustained development and corporate responsibility. These are just a few examples. Personal possibilities will depend on skills, interests and the chosen direction of studies in BSL. So you're doing a sustainability program? Right, yeah. And why do you need sustainability? Why? Uh, I had a few work experiences before joining the program. Um, and really, I, I felt comfortable enough. I was in an early stage investments in like blue economy projects. So uh, these startups were working like developing uh, you know solutions to like clear up the ocean. And yeah, I, you know they were relocating to Singapore, and sort of I wasn't quite ready. You know, I wanted to be more invested in sustainability, understand sort of other ways of being invested in it beyond sort of the uh, the ESG, you know, the, the impact investment. I was working in Jordan. Um, I did my undergraduate in the United States of America and I was, did that in history and politics. And I really wanted to go into the business world, but I didn't have a business under, undergraduate degree. And so the reason I chose BSL as well is that it's so, you know, it has this family feel to it and it's an accelerated process. So you're always a name at BSL. I can always connect with my professors, who, by the way, are working professionals. So there are also networking opportunities and, you know, the, professional, the professors have their own businesses, their own professional lives. Yeah. And so so outside of being a professor, you can also network and see, you know, maybe a potential job opportunity. Uh, how do you like living in uh, Lausanne after like big cities? I love it because, you know, after at a certain level, I just want some, you know, calm to have the option of, you know, be in touch with nature, but at the same time have a city feel to it. So the center of Lausanne is so nice, you know, because it does have that urban atmosphere to it if I want to dip into that. But also if I want to go on a hike and, you know, every two meters in Switzerland, there's a lake. So it's, it's, it's beautiful, you know, especially now with the weather getting really good. Lausanne itself is often called the student center for its flourishing academic life, diverse student community and variety of well-known universities. Lausanne has several universities known for their academic excellence, productive research and solid international reputation. I've already mentioned EPFL, also here is the University of Lausanne. Lausanne students' community is diverse, its schools full of students of every country and ancestry. Lausanne offers students high quality of life thanks to its scenic location on the coast of the Geneva Lake, its beautiful nature and efficient public transport. The city can also show off its rich cultural life with numerous museums, galleries and festivals whole year round. Lausanne is known as the Olympic capital thanks to its long-time connection with the International Olympic Committee. About uh, five years ago, it was considered basically a village. Uh, there were a lot of uh, dorms. Uh, these houses were built only five years ago. Are they also students? Usually they rent them, yeah. A lot of people here rent those uh, students' um, apartments. They have um, ping pong, all sorts of terraces, a co-working space. by the vortex that big round building vortex vortex yes vortex it's, that's, it's, the, that's the big round it, building it's, it sounds like um what, what are they marvel studios uh <laughs> headquarters it, of uh, and it kind of feels like it it's actually a really really neat place but it was actually built to house i think it was the youth olympic people uh about six years ago The whole territory is a student's area. Some of the best universities in Switzerland and in the world are here. 
This giant building, reminiscent of a stadium, is a residence. Here you um, have uh, parking for cars, so for bikes, um, electric cars, charging stations. We're now gonna go into the territory, although David has told me that despite uh, this being a, the student's residence, it's popular among students uh, to rent apartments here. They come to the city, meet each other, and rent uh, together with uh, several roommates. The name is Bienvenue at Vortex, uh, the building's called the Vortex. So this is how it's laid out, it has the restaurants, uh, gyms. Um, now that we're inside together, let's see why it's called a Vortex. The reason is, um, look, um, there is uh, the balcony, I'm walking, and as I'm continuing walking, I'm coming up onto the balcony without any stairs. Look, you see? I'm going in that direction, and if I keep walking, I'll be going through the entire balcony without using the stairs once. You see it spiraling up like a tornado, like a hurricane. And if I'm gonna go along this path continuously forward, I can reach the very top. That's um, one unique thing about it. Um, another is uh, that uh, they're using environmentally friendly materials. On the outside, it's all wood. We're um, in the University of Lausanne and this um, Geopolis building with all of the cafes and all that, it's all part of the University of Lausanne campus and BSL is two um, steps from here. Students uh, have access to all of this. This is, by the way, as um, metro, but on the ground stations. It goes straight to Lausanne. I went uh, from the center of Lausanne, it took me 20 minutes. Welcome to the campus of one of the best uh, technological universities in the world, EPFL. This cool wave-shaped uh, building is called uh, Forum uh, Rolex. You know why. According to David, he supposes uh, this building was financed by the Rolex company. startup incubator. So this is where our students who have a company project can develop that project. Hey mate. Hello, how are you? We have, so uh, one is a consulting company in customer experience and then we have a tech startup as well. We developed mm -hmm. a platform that uses a predictive algorithm. So we look historical data, understand what happened in the past, use an attribution model and then we predict in the future what consumers will be wanting, their behavior, but also their spend. I know this company quite well. Uh, I started as a client. Uh, so Dana, which is the CEO from Incubator, uh, helped me uh, jumpstart my company. And today we are in business together. So, so we started to working with students here, for instance, and it was sort of like a funnel to actually for the students to have something after the school. So you actually develop something here and then you have a management project, for instance, and then you, then you press the button and then you launch your company and this is how you can do it with us. I have a very cool space here. So we used to, during COVID, we used to have all the, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> this is from your bodyguard. It's my, my Harley Quinn. Uh, <laughs> well, to push the startups a bit. Discipline. Yeah, this is, yeah this is of course. I work here, mm. so I have my desk to sit here. I'm like quite luxury here. And this is where I have my standing desk. You see, with the little pad that actually is moving. This is uh, the My Blue Planet space. So this is an organization that works uh, with startups to make them more sustainable, to track their impact and to actually introduce uh, practices that are more sustainable for small and uh, medium enterprises. BSL, we are really specialized in one thing that's very important. It's everything about business transformation. Business transformation at BSL means that we have students in every program working on how to transform businesses. So they don't only learn skills, it's not about knowledge, it's about applying knowledge. And today basically we are producing one of the biggest TV entertainment shows in France. The story about entrepreneurial mindset and entrepreneurship at BSL is a story that is grounded in research. 
how to transform education with an entrepreneurial mindset. Why is that so? And we really believe that it's only by transforming the education system as such, the faculty, and with the help of the students, integrating them in our teaching, that we can develop with them an entrepreneurial mindset. We don't belong to a group. Uh, and there are not so many schools uh, which are still uh, independent, but we don't have the pressure of investors and we, we have more uh, freedom to, and more, uh, and it's easier to keep our values. I did a school before who bring me a lot of uh, knowledge and, and all, but I wanted to moving fast to the world of the studies, so I chose the accelerated one for that. Masters as well as baccalaureate uh, often they finish studying, it's uh, one year for the masters, then they have half a year of um, capstone. You can choose uh, four things there, practice, a thesis, um, project, and um, a second degree in China or France, if I'm not mistaken. And what is all oh, the second is Japan? If you want to stay in Switzerland, it's better to do practice. It's easier to get a job and much easier to stay in the same company. I currently work uh, okay. for, for pharma company. In my view, this is the best way actually to acquire the knowledge and really quickly apply it uh, at work. Um, also, um, the opportunity when you work for the company already to, to have access to the data information and really immediately to, to challenge yourself where, um, where you can do the improvement. Mm -hmm.